Good afternoon folks, hope everybody's okay and well. So uh, I'm going to do a quick update today on what I'm working on at the moment and as you can probably see from the uh, from what you see in front of you, it's uh, a bit of the uh, Waterloo Epic range. Now I kind of burnt out with the American Civil War Epic stuff so I, I didn't think for one minute that I would start on the Waterloo Epic uh, range because um, I had a massive painting block after doing the American Civil War so I, I kind of swore that I would never go back to that scale or anywhere near that scale again but after watching uh, some videos particularly from uh, Leon T66 um, I couldn't resist so I purchased um, this little brigade box set that you got here um, and uh, a couple of others as well and decided to have a go but I, I'm not really going down the black powder route with this one I'm, uh, after seeing Leon's uh, videos um i liked the way he was sort of half basing them so rather than the uh the 10 man strips or 20 man strips um he was chopping them in half uh, and making two bases out of one and i really like that uh, which got me thinking to back to some rules that i bought a long long time ago these have just been in the attic uh which is these ones here shaco uh that's the first first set uh, then this is a, like a scenario book with a number of battles in there and then I believe this is the latest one but again these have been in the attic I bought these years and years ago never played it but I did like the look of the uh, the orders phase in it and how divisions move and how you have to you, know, you have to you set your orders at the beginning of the, at the uh, beginning of the game and then if you want to change brigades or do divisions uh, I should say from uh, defend to attack this you know you have to send adcs and stuff and i really liked it uh like the look of it but just never got around to playing it um so i'm looking at using the epic stuff to uh use with shako uh, oh should i say shako 2 because that's what these ones are now um so this is what i've been working on so like i mentioned uh did the uh, the british brigade box um, to start off with, I uh, apologise for the uh, the shakiness of the uh, camera. I can't find my tripod anywhere, so I'm relying on free hand. Um, so this was uh, from the British Brigade box that you get, so, which normally you would get three units of line and one unit of rifles. Um, so like I said, I chopped the bases in half uh, and then based them on f uh, four four bases per uh, battalion. So from that set, I managed to get uh, so a total of seven, yeah, seven units. So 95th rifles is there. I'll zoom in. Um, and then three British battalions, just those three there. And then the uh, three Hanoverian battalions. Um, not They're not quite right. The pom-poms, I believe, should be in the centre of the shackle row and to the side. Uh, but at this scale, and you know, I'm just gonna, because I want to make the most out of the boxes as well. So, uh, and I didn't want to, as with a lot of my stuff, it's I want it quick and easy. So I wanted, you know, getting troops on the table. Um, so speed painting essential, uh, and uh, so there, there are going to be mistakes with uniforms. So that's all. That's all I'm saying. Um, but so that's the uh, Hanoverian Hanoverians. Uh, so you've got three battalions there. I can't remember which ones there. I think the Verdun, Lundberg and Bremen, maybe. I think those were the ones. And then the three artillery pieces that you uh, that you get in there. Um, so then um, I bought a cavalry sprue off eBay for, to do some Dutch-Belgian cavalry. Uh, so this is a British cavalry sprue. And obviously you got a, uh, an artillery battery with that. Um, and then... Uh, then I, I, couldn't, I couldn't resist the. Uh, and I used to never start with old, with old guard. Should you should get line troops first, but I couldn't resist it. And I uh, got the uh, old guard, middle guard uh, box set, uh, which obviously contains the these battalions. I've still got some. I think I've still got one more unit to paint of the middle guard, uh, and you get the uh, like the marines and stuff like that, which uh, I haven't I haven't done yet. Um, so I mean we've got there. So it's five in total there, which is old guard and middle guard, and then got another screw for some uh, some normal, should we say normal French infantry, French line. So you've got the ones uh, in what would you call dress uniform, and the ones in uh, in uh, great coats. 
Uh, sorry, cam's playing up a little bit, so it's, uh, it's not zooming in very well, and it keeps going light to dark for some reason. Um, oh, and obviously with the guard, you get the battery as well. And uh, he only done one commander so far, because these wheels, they are... Uh, so I'll try and hold it steady a little bit. Um, these wheels, like I said, are for like core-sized battles, so you're looking at divisions. Um, so you'd only have one divisional commander, so if you if you had an old guard division, then you'd only need one commander. So I'll find use. I've got to find use for most of the figures that you have and the, and the extras that you have um, left behind um, because it's obviously the plastic, so nice and nice and easy to convert into different things plus it's a small scale so um you know converting isn't that bad and you know you can cover things up with paint jobs and such um but so, so, so yeah so that's, that's it really just um just a little view of what i'm working on so i'm not going down the black powder route route um i do still like black powder and i still play black powder and i i could conceivably still play black powder with these figures but at the moment i'm just lining them up more for the uh, shackle two rules so that's it, um, yet another project, um, early stages, but well, I'm quite happy with the, uh, the progress and uh, we shall see, uh, see how much further I can get going.